Literally, I'm sitting in my front room. I have absolutely, I'm bored out of my mind. So I said, you know what, guys? I will share this story time with you guys. Um, This is the time that I went to jail. Yes, little old me went to jail. Okay. It all started, I'm not going to get into details Um, how it went down, but I'm going to just get into the details you need to know how I went to jail. Um, what happened, look, no, like, what happened was, um, I used to work downtown, and, like, I would park, like, I would park on the street, so I would, like, get tickets, and I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay it. Needless to say, I stopped working downtown, so I was like, you know, and then I never got the notice in the mail. Well, I probably did, but, um, the logistics of it is I missed the court date. Or whatever, because I, I had a court date. But I didn't know I had a court date. So I had a warrant. Didn't know I had a warrant. Um, okay, got that part out of the way. Remember that. The reason why I had a warrant, because of parking tickets. Okay, so at the time, I was in an altercation with um, someone. I was in an altercation with someone. So, you know me, I'm like, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call the police, because, you know, I, I'm thinking that I'm legit. I'm thinking nothing. I'm thinking I'm legit. So I'm calling the police for my protection. So, um, you know, the police get there, whatever. They take down, you know, the information and see what's going on. So then they came back and they was like, well, you know, you have a warrant. So we have to arrest you. I was like, what? A, a, arrest little old me? I was like, what? So at this point, I'm like, I'm in shock. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't crying yet. But I'm like, oh, my God. So I had to call my kid's um, godmother or whatever. She came. It was a whole dramatic thing. Okay, so I'm riding the police car. The police, he was so super cool. Like, he was super cool. He was like, you know, you need to pay your parking tickets. And you know what I'm saying? You know, you wouldn't be in this predicament. And um, and I'm like, I, at this point, I'm mad. I'm not trying to hear it or whatever. Mind now, never been to jail in my life. So, you know, we get there. So, they just put you in, like, this holding cell with these people. And this toilet there. It's just not the cleanest place ever. So, you know, people in jail, like, you know, they start telling you these stories and stuff. How they got to jail, when they fall out, whatever. You know, little old me, I'm just in the corner, like, I don't, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Like, I'm, I'm hugging the phone. Y'all coming to get me? Y'all coming to get me? You know, you know, people, in the, when you call people, they be like, oh, yeah, 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 we trying to get, you know what I'm saying? So, needless to say, um, you know, then, no, let me go back. Needless to say, like I said, I, I could have got out the same night, but I think, like, m my sister and, you know, other people, they was like, no, we're going to let you sit there. I was like, in my mind, you know, that's what this, I'm going to let you sit there. But, um, so I end up, like, having to, like, spend the night there. I mean, when I said I heard all kind of stories, it was just all kind of stories. This lady was like, oh, I got a, a DUI, but I wasn't drinking. I only had one drink. It just was a lot. It was unsanitized and everything. Okay, so the next morning, because mine, I spent the night. So the next morning, or whatever, I ain't went to sleep or nothing. I'm just sitting there, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I'm in a holding cell, I'm like, I don't trust nobody. So, breakfast came around. So, you know, they hand out trays or whatever. I'm like, I don't want to eat nothing. Nothing. They was like, can I have, you can have whatever you want. Didn't use the bathroom. Didn't do anything. End up, because it was like a holiday. So, end up having to go to court or whatever. So, I'm saying, I'm like, I'm not a criminal. Why am I here with these criminals? Like, I'm like, I'm not a criminal. Um, So, you know, went to court. And the thing that pisses me off because I was three, no, the lady said a day, I think a day away from the warrant expiring because it was out, apparently it was out for a year. So the warrant was going to expire and they arrested me for a warrant that was going to expire like the next day. So the judge was like, well, why are you here? I was like, well, they said I had parking tickets and I had a warrant. And because she was like, well, your warrant was about to expire. Really, they could have 
but at that time, you know, my family and stuff, they already had paid the 700 and something dollars that needed to be paid for me to be free again. Let me tell you, when they called my name, I was like, see y'all later. Let me tell you, I got home. I watched like three or four times. I was like, I can't see how people go to jail back to back because I couldn't take it. Like, I just couldn't take it. So the moral of the story is, please pay your parking tickets. Please go to court on time or you'll be like me. You'll be in jail with criminals because you don't want to pay your parking tickets. So, guys, that was my time that I went to jail for one night. But I had to, spend the jail, had to spend the night in jail one night, and it was horrible. Never want to go back again. So, guys, if you like this story time, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. You never cheated, but why you lying? I heard those calls, now you see me crying.